well lads here's something different so this is how to make your own diy air intake with your stock micra uh, air box pipes so this is what i've done to mine here so if you look along here this is all the stock air box pipe here hooked up to my cone air filter so i'm going to do modifications to it now to get it to fit here so what i did was my original one had this one attached onto two wasn't doing anything good luck not needing that so the old air box is here then so i literally just took the air box. don't need anything from it not the filter not just the pipe it'll disconnect from this end in here so the pipe goes into here and it should just disconnect once you undo a cable tie uh once it's disconnected the pipe will slide off and then you can use it over here as your air intake so this here is the side that would have gone into the air box and this is the side that the air would have gone into so i'm rerouting it now to the right headlight of the car um as you're sitting in it the one on the right so it'll be rooted right behind that one out of the way it can't go where the cooling tank is because the cooling tank is too big and gets in the way so we'll reroute it around to that side then you have a flexi piece here which makes it handy to put it in the top and then it'll flex to give you your curve going out so you don't have to use any other piping so we're using your stock airbox pipes and i won't lie i'm probably going to hold mine together with a bit of electrical tape or something when I cut it here and I'll mark it up then. So I'm going cutting it along here ish, this joint here. Try to cut along there, which will give me a nice curved piece here. Well, next now, so we have this piece cut, which gives you a nice bend along here. So next, you need to cut a piece to fit along here, going into here, and mount it right over there. Right then, the next part after this is I'm going to cut off this 90 degree bend here which will give me a nice straight piece and then this will flex and go inside of the intake uh, I'll cut off some of this because it's too long so I'll cut off a chunk of that and then cut off this bend and theory should just fit in then and slide straight into it so I'm going to cut off here and a bit of here I'd recommend a hacksaw because it just goes through this plastic like butter so I'll just give this cut, cut off this end and then I'll cut off the other end next and off she comes that is gone don't need that anymore next we'll get this part i'll just mock it up to here uh, see that's good length and then i'll be able to chop this part off after well lads as you can see here i have coming out the intake here and a mock up here so this is too high so i'll probably cut just below this black tape here cut it below slide it in tape it up and that's that done right then next you have your pipe here so i'm going to cut off the bare end of this and i might use this fitting again depending on how it fits into the intake so next i am cutting this off and that's gone now let's pull that off gone now so now we'll test fit this and then maybe since the end of this is slightly wider it might be handy to fit it in but i'm not so sure so next just see now what it'll look like and one more thing that i will advise is that there is holes on this of course when you take off the other one so if you look here i just have a bit of electrical tape put over this hole here and there's also one in here so i just have them taped over this is, this is clearly a budget intake because this is for free this is just reusing your old airbox pipes to reroute it as an air intake just using a junior hacksaw here to just get rid of this lump here out the side uh, it's cut down nice fine make sure it's as circular as possible and i'll layer it up with black tape and put it in because this is a budget and i'm lazy as well so this is going to come off we'll layer it up with black tape slide it in and connect up the other side then right a bit of cleaning up later and it's much more flush if you get sandpaper you can probably get a perfect 
well i'm not looking for perfect this is only an auto test car this is going on to so just tape this up get it thicker a bit so she'll slide in and then we can worry about connecting up this end so layered up the tape much tighter fit now and now just a matter of connecting up these two ends and put a bit of a seal around here so it doesn't suck in any dirt now it's been connected clicked up here i'm lazy so i use electrical tape just going in here nice tight fitting i'll make a seal around here but this is how you make a coal air intake for a k11 nissan micra for free uh, you do have to get one of these but this piping and all was free off of the old air box